The four habits that make you undesirable. Stick around as I'll reveal four habits that can make you come across more unattractive to other people in general and overall. Welcome to the SCG Show. This video is officially sponsored by BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month in the description below. An undesirable person is someone who doesn't exhibit desirable qualities or behavior such as honesty, respect, trustworthiness and kindness. This can manifest in numerous ways such as dishonesty, a lack of respect for themselves and others, poor communication, inconsiderateness, arrogance and being insensitive. Such a person is usually selfish and lacks any sense of compassion, understanding or empathy for those around them. They may be competitive to the point of cutting people out to get what they want. They may be uncooperative and, even when working in a team, not work for the betterment of the team. These types of people will often act in unethical ways and push their own agenda over those of other people. They may also be disruptive, unreliable and completely inconsiderate. In short, an undesirable person is difficult to be around and exhibits undesirable qualities and behaviours. Nobody wants to be undesirable or unattractive or feel like they're not good enough. However, sometimes without knowing it, we develop and maintain habits that can make us unconsciously come across that way and in result hurt others around us push other people away, turn off those we want to connect and date. I personally had habits that were making me very undesirable. Even if I began dating someone or on the surface looked appealing, as time would go on, I would turn them off, friends too, and even family members to a degree. A huge amount of maturity and self-awareness will be needed to address these potentially dangerous habits, which is something I did as well. Habits that can be ironed out if you really want to deal with them. Here are the four habits that make you undesirable. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of these videos. The habit of engaging in toxic vices of any kind regularly can make you very undesirable. There's a young man I know who's very handsome, has a great job, and his life together on the surface. But every night when he comes home, the moment he's alone, he goes and gets high off drugs and stoned every night. The moment any woman gets to know him personally, seeing him do this, no matter what, and wittingly, they get turned off. You're a drug addict, they'd say to him. No, I'm a functioning drug addict, he would argue. It's no wonder that the smell of drugs and that being his way of winding and relaxing would make him undesirable. He's never had a girlfriend, and if he carries on this way, he never will. I can relate to this young man in a similar but different way. I suffered from a gambling addiction for 14 years. I kept gambling many times a secret. Hardly anyone knew it because I was ashamed and embarrassed. Naturally, as I got older and the more relationships I had, it's when the addiction started to come out of the woodwork when I would force myself to gamble. I'd make a night out about gambling. I'd make friends go to the casino. I would convince them how it was a fun place to hang out. But I was obviously wrong, dead wrong. Once in a blue moon, gambling and a casino trip may seem like a special moment and an event to have. But when you're doing it all the time, no matter what, and you're trying to peer pressure others to join you and looking for an excuse, that's excessive. For me personally, my toxic habit was an addiction and it made me very undesirable when people found out the truth that I was addicted to gambling. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and support my channel by becoming an official member. The link for memberships is in the description down below. Being negative, complaining a lot, being a cynic and having a pessimistic view makes you undesirable. There was once a young man called John who was the most negative, cynical guy you'd ever meet. Everything was a problem, 
bad and wrong. He was the world's greatest critic and such a drain to be around. Physically, he was tall. He had a good job. And actually, when you got him to think positively, which was rare, he was sweet and funny, but that was always rare. And when he tried to date and meet women, he would always be met with a tirade of negativity on their end because he would complain, criticize, and cause problems throughout the dating process. Women found him undesirable. They said, sorry, John, I felt drained on our date. I just don't feel a spark between us. Our date was really depressing. I got really bored on our date. You were really cold and dull. It's not going to work out. I hated our date together so much. Typically on those dates, John would always complain. Even he would complain about the women he was dating to their face. He was a drain, too cynical, and he came across unattractive. I've been there when I've been so frustrated and annoyed at being single that I would just let it out on the woman I'm on a date with and hurt them with my bad attitude or hurt them with unnecessary passive aggression. Dating sucks. I hate it. It sucks being a man. I would insist. Oh, it's so awful. Women have it easier. Blah, blah, blah. How do you think that would make my date feel with being such a negative person, particularly on a first date? Awful. And it made me look extremely undesirable. Being negative is just not a way to live. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've personally used BetterHelp and found it to be so effective for turning my life around for the better. Now, BetterHelp is therapy online which offers weekly sessions via phone, video, and live chat. You get matched with a therapist according to where you are, what you're looking for, and what you're needing help with. If it's not a great fit, you can switch therapists easily. Therapy is a great way to take care of ourselves mentally, just like we try to do so physically through diet and exercise. Online therapy can teach you valuable life coping skills and support you amazingly when tough times occur. Click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Go ahead and take that first step to turning your life around with BetterHelp. Any person believing they are entitled to special treatment based on their own personal achievements or superiority perceived by them is really unattractive and it makes them undesirable. And I can't stand this habit. People nowadays have a full sense of ego and self, particularly young people who've convinced themselves arrogance is attractive. Whilst it's very good to be confident and believe in yourself, I cannot find any person desirable, warm or connect with anyone who genuinely acts this way. And as someone who dated a narcissist and had a very toxic relationship, it really turned me off such behaviours and people in general. The last time I was single and fully aware of the toxic traits and personalities to avoid, it astounded me how many single women were so undesirable to me. Yes, physically they were stunning, on the surface attractive, dressing attractive, appearing very desirable. But the moment any form of entitlement would come out of their mouth, that was a red flag for me, and especially early on. Stuff like the following. When are you going to take me out for dinner? When are you cooking for me? When we go out, you pay. I expect you to pick me up. You have to always call me first. You need to chase me. I'm the prize. I want to know what gift you're going to buy me. Treat me always like a princess. All of that and more made my stomach turn. It is just not for me. I know what it's like dating an entitled person. It's absolute hell. Nothing is ever going to be good enough. You'll never be good enough for them as well. AKA the undesirable entitled person. If you have this in your locker, please let it go. Finally, lacking intelligence. Not being able to carry an intelligent conversation and not having any ambition or ambition to learn new things makes you undesirable. I once went on a date with a woman who, once again, 
via text and in her pictures looked very attractive. We met online and off I went. When she arrived, she dressed childishly, which was very odd as she knew we were going to a nice bar. And it was all downhill from there. She didn't know how to greet me, didn't know how to have a conversation, didn't know how to interact at all. And she admitted she had not had a job in years. And that the last date she went on was with an ex-convict who she thought was a lovely guy but had red flags. I bolted out of the door. This woman lacked any substance and was arrogant and rude about it too. I'm special. You're lucky to be here with me, she said. Actually, I was lucky to get out of the door, more like. With the access of the internet, people should spend more time expanding their knowledge and wisdom rather than wasting it on social media, doing nothing and losing more brain cells. A lack of intelligence and even basic logic is, in my humble opinion, undesirable.